Good day everyone. We will be uh, looking at statistics for this demo. I'll be using database AdventureWorks DW for this demo. We will create a table called uh, table one. This table has got uh, close to four columns. Column one integer, which will be a primary key and uses um, identity. Column two is varka 255 and column three is integer. Column four will be date time. We'll be creating a non-cluster index on column two for table one. This particular table, table one, will have two indexes. One is a cluster index as part of the primary key. And uh, the other one would be the non-cluster index, IX test, which will be on column two. We will execute this particular query, which basically joins um, uh, sys.stats with uh, sys.stats underscore column. And it basically gives you the object name, column name, and then the statistics name. And also like it will tell us whether it is uh, auto-created or not. So let's execute it. So if you look at this particular table, table one, since we have the predicate specifically for table one, it uh, shows all the statistics as far as table one is concerned. And what I'm able to see is like there are two statistics created um, as far as table one is concerned. And if you look at it, it basically shows us that the um, auto created value is zero. So that means like it is not an auto created statistics, but uh, it is uh, at least here yeah, it um, is created as part of the indexes that was uh, created on table one so the first statistics which is on column one is created uh, when uh, a cluster index was created and this cluster index was created because column one is a primary key and then we created a non cluster index ix underscore test and this statistics which is on column two is um, uh, created uh, as part of the non cluster index ix underscore test and auto created zero basically um, uh, tells us that these are not auto created statistics now what we'll do is like we will try executing this select query which basically selects column one and column two from uh, object table one and the predicate is column three is equal to one let's try executing that remember we did not have any statistics created uh, as far as table one is concerned so let's see what happens when uh, we executed this query which uh, had the predicate column three so now if we see here uh, we did not uh, have any uh, statistics for column three and uh, the understanding is like um, statistics um, should have been created automatically since we had uh, executed this query which had the predicate column three but since this table uh, doesn't have any data in that uh, we did uh, the statistics was not created because uh, um, um, since there is no data there is no requirement for uh, creating the statistics and uh, if you see here we just um, created the table but we did not insert any data so now what we'll do is like we'll insert some uh, rows and then try executing that query and see if the statistics is getting created so yeah what I'm trying to do is like I'm trying to insert hundred uh, rows for each of using each of these uh, insert statement and I'm uh, using a while loop here. I'm not using uh, insert into and then uh, using a go here because um, uh, this um, insert followed by a go uh, works very well with uh, on premise and IIS, but uh, on managed instance, it will have an issue. But this uh, method of using um, a while loop and then inserting the data works well um, in IIS on on-premise SQL Server as well as in your Azure SQL managed instance. So I'm using this method and also I'm inserting another 999 rows for uh, this particular insert statement. So let's execute that. So it is completed now. We will check again if uh, um, um, if we have uh, any more in, uh, statistics added. So here I can see the same statistics which are created as part of the uh, clustered and non-cluster index. So now what we'll do is like let's try executing this query, which basically selects column one and column two from object table one, and the predicate is column three is equal to one. And if we see here, we don't have a statistics created for column three. So let's execute that. And then let's recheck if statistics is created. So now if we see here, we have a new statistics created for column three on table one. 
and this is a statistics name and now if you see that the auto created value is set to one for this particular statistics which basically tells like this is an auto created statistics and now if you uh, look at the database property here which is adventure works dw go to the options you will see that auto create statistics is set to true and also auto update statistics is set to true which is uh, not of a concern here but at least auto create statistics is set to true and uh, if we look at it here as soon as we executed this particular query it ensured that um, uh, we got a new statistics created by sql server because sql server felt like uh, uh, creating a statistics on column three is required for coming up with this best estimate. So that's the reason we have created a, a auto statistics for as soon as we executed this query. So now what we'll do is like, we will try creating um, this particular statistics uh, manually. So now if you see here, uh, we have an auto create statistics on column three. Now I'm going to create an um, uh, uh, statistics manually on column three again and then let's see what happens and then it's created let's look at the list of statistics and if you see here uh, what we can see is like we have a statistics created in column three which is an uh, uh, auto created one and also I have created it manually on column three um, and uh, if you see here um, we, we are able to create multiple statistics on the same column so the thing that we need to understand is like it is possible to create stats on the same column but in reality that is not at all required and it will be an overhead so it is better we look at these things and make sure like uh, uh, there are, um, are not multiple statistics created on the same column yep so now what we'll do is like we'll try executing this particular query uh, which is um, 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 like we are selecting column one, column two, and column four from object table one. And the predicate is column two, this value, and then um, uh, column three is equal to one. So we have um, uh, specified multiple predicates, that is column two and column three. And then let's see if uh, we are going to uh, get any new statistics created here. Yep, so let's execute that. And then if I look at the statistics uh, on this particular table again, what I'm able to see is like we, this particular query did not create any additional statistics. OK, and now what we'll do is like we will try creating a multi column statistics. For example, if you see here the predicate here for the previous query was column two and column three. So what I'm going to do is like I'm going to uh, create this particular statistics called stats underscore column two and column three. Uh, just to um, uh, make it a little readable. Uh, so I've used this name on table one, column two and column three. So let me execute this. Let me execute it. It's executed. Now let's uh, look at the, the list of statistics there. And if you see here, we are able to see that the multi-column statistics is created. Stats underscore column two, underscore column three and we can see that the column name is column two and column three so this way we were able to create a multi-column stats as well that's it for this video thanks for watching have a great day jai hind